Ni hao. Hi. Good evening, Board of Directors. My name is Ahmed. As a father of three girls, uh, I enjoy seeing them grow every day. So tonight, we're presenting a growth recipe in China. Our team is, our chefs are No Sara, Sherry, and Sisha. We hope you'll enjoy your meal and come up with a decision. So our philosophy is food with integrity and uh, our commitment to find the best ingredients. Uh, Chipotle was founded in 1993 by Steve Els, and nowadays we have more than 2,000 restaurants around the world. For our financials, uh, we have a 23.4% decrease in our revenues in the first quarter of 2016, comparing to the first quarter of 2015. Also, we have a decrease in sales and uh, restaurant transactions. We've conducted a SWOT analysis. For our strength, we have the brand recognition and the market share, our weaknesses, the lack of Chinese uh, market experience, and our high cost of ingredients. Our main opportunities are the first mover advantage uh, in China and the population of uh, the Chinese people. And our threats are the indirect and direct competitors, such as Taco Bell. A brief analysis of China. China, the second largest um, economy in terms of GDP in the world. Uh, it, China is governed by the Communist Party. In the last year, China has uh, $365 billion to the surplus in the US. Uh, the number of middle class is growing very fast in China. And they have stronger purchasing power and uh, also more awareness of health di diet. Uh, Facebook and YouTube are all blocked in China, so we will use different social media channels. Uh, air pollution and food safety have become major issues in China, uh, threatening people's daily life. A new food safety law took effect last year, requiring uh, stricter monitoring and uh, tougher standards. And these are the drivers why we are going to China. When we think about this country, we think about large amounts of population, fast growth of economy, and strong food culture. This chart shows more than 51% of the uh, population eat outside in large cities from Monday to Friday. It's a large market share. And there are three most popular fast food chains in China, McDonald's, KFC, and Pizza Hut, which are all American brands. That means American brands has really high reputation in China. And for the food safety concern, I believe the Chipotle's uh, organic food will have more competitive strength in this uh, situation. And then we chose Shanghai. This location located in the financial center of Shanghai. And Shanghai is the financial center of China. Lots of visitors, lots of populations over there, and lots of people work around here. Uh, their age amount 25 to 44. Exactly perfect match our target custom, uh, customers. And this location has really good feng shui, which is very important for Chinese businessmen. Uh, we, the, we are very happy to offer more feng shui advice if you hire us as your consultant team. So these are, are our products and services that we currently provide. Currently provide. And we are taking this to China to keep our identity and culture. This is how our uh, menu in Mandarin would look, would look like. However, the customization is even more important. That's why we gave a Chinese name for Chipotle, Chi Pu Le, eat and eat, everybody's happy. And the pronunciation is very similar to Chipotle. We're going to smaller the size of a burrito and add some noodles and changing the cooking styles, such as uh, stir fry since we have we like more warmer food this will more fit the Chinese customers appetite this is how was it gets in China this is Shanghai so for that we have to change our standard layout by installing air curtains over our entrances other thing that we have to consider or other measure that we have to take in consideration to cover all our food containers finally we will eliminate the patio dining area the economy in China is dominated by the government. For that, we started the process of building relationships with Chinese officials, which take long, long time. In addition, we contacted the legal department to file and register all Chipotle's trademarks. That includes logos and phrases. For the suppliers, we're going to uh, partner with local farmers and we will work with them hand by hand to help them uh, meet our standards. 
And for the social responsibility, we're going to do recycling for all of our products. For the communication channels, uh, we will uh, use um, elevators, public transportation, uh, product placement in a well-known Chinese TV show, and also we will use social media. Um, so instead of using Google, Facebook, and um, Yelp, uh, we have Baidu, Weibo, and Dajong Dianping. Uh, our entering strategy is just to open one store first, just to, to test the market. And if we succeed, we're going to open more stores. And we will bring um, uh, Bezeria Local and uh, Shop House Kitchen, which are owned by Chipotle. This is our marketing plan. Um, mm -hmm. Chi Chi, thank you. <laughs> Yes, that's a good idea. So, can you come over here? So, I'm visiting her in China. I have a, a meeting with her in China. I'm an American or international businessman. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is Ahmed. Is my name card? Well, in this situation, you probably don't want to do that. Would you please do that again? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Hi. Hi, this is Hi, I'm Ahmed. Nice to meet you, too. Is my name card? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And yes, this is the proper way to do that when you exchange your business card. Yes. Yeah. The second thing about the uh, greeting, uh, that's a, uh, when you address someone, uh, for example, Sherry is the uh, she's the example. Uh, she's the marketing director of the Chipotle, so I should call her Director John, not Sherry. That's the proper way to address. And uh, another uh, interesting thing about greeting is that um, if a Chinese friend asks you. Um, I'll ask you, have you eaten? And then this sentence equals to how are you doing um, in, in American culture. So do not take it seriously to, to answer very details about, um, about what you eat. <laughs> <laughs> so just simply uh, if, um, answer yes if you have. If not, just say um, thank you and smile. Uh, and uh, if you want to send your Chinese friend a um, gift, please do avoid uh, clocks and a watch. Because giving a clock or watch, um, meaning in Chinese meaning attending someone's funeral, that's a very bad luck. So please avoid clock or watch. <laughs> and uh, um, drinking culture exists in China, Chinese culture. If you are invited to drink, uh, you have to go because that is very important in uh, building your relationship, which is going to and it's very important in Chinese business culture. Also, if you are clicking graphic with someone, uh, like level is higher than you, you need to uh, lower your graphics than others. If you are at the same uh, age, the younger one should lower their glasses. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, this, this <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, the Chinese people do, do not like uh, make negative statements. So they think that make negative statements is kind of implied. So if you want to say no, um, you can use uh, we will see, maybe, or um, yeah, or probably, and then instead of just a blunt no. So that's pretty. Yeah, if you have any questions, can we? Please feel free to ask us.